picture for you guys. Does this even kind of feel like the same season of, you know, three weeks ago, you're losing a game by 46 points, and now you guys have got some real momentum and really come together? Does, I mean, what, what's the difference? What does it feel like right now? I mean, obviously, it, is, it feels much, much better. Um, we're in a tough spot. Uh, we needed to respond, and uh, uh, when that happened, we came together, and uh, we decided we need to get uh, to get better, and we need on the court, we need to get a job done. And um, I think that's the biggest thing. We, we stick together. We didn't go everybody to their side, and uh, we believed in each other, and we started gro growing. Also, just to add on to that, I just feel like we just learned, like, you know, we have a new team, especially a lot of freshmen, a lot of young guys, and I just feel like we had to learn how to just finish out games and learn how to, like, finish a college basketball game. Um, yeah, that's really what I wanted to just get out right there for sure, just finish finishing games. Um, 9 0 run, def I think <laughs> nine points in a row or something, and you had like five of them. Um, what was it like? It was a game of wild momentum swings, but you guys had the last one. Uh, what was that like, and how did you finish them off? How did we finish off the points? Uh, just finish them off as a team. Oh, yeah. I mean, our main goal, uh, it was good to see the ball go into the basket, of course, but I feel like our whole team was more focused on getting stops and just, you know, just finishing the possession, getting the defensive rebound, and whatever happens on offense, man, let's just make sure we capitalize on this because we just got the stop. So I feel like that was our main focus right there. Uh, just a question for any of you guys. I mean, you were in a very similar position against Arizona just a couple weeks ago. You have a big early lead. Other team comes back. Um, just what felt different about you guys, kind of the way your team responded this time around? Uh, I'll probably say we was more calm. You know, we was, we you know, because we've been in that situation before, and we know that that last time, you know, we took we took a loss on that one. So now we just we went in and practice, and we went over, it and we realized that just be calm and relax and come together as a team, and we'll be able to get through it. Just being confident. Talking about that 45-point loss, do you think you need a loss like that to, to make you respond? Do you have to hit bottom sometimes? No. We'll, Not at we'll, all. We'll, we'll prefer if it didn't happen. Like 40 so. points? No. <laughs> you don't think that helps, though? You don't think that motivates you further? Uh, I mean, as I said before, we were in a really bad spot. So we had to respond. Yeah. And I guess maybe it made us respond. So you, you can... You can create a story whatever you want right now but like it happened and we responded to it and, and we played much much better now mm -hmm. Dylan last three games you've played pretty phenomenally oh, just what's the difference oh, what what changed for you in the last three games uh, I feel like you know just being more confident on the court uh, really just letting the game go by and just you know my teammates trust me man my coaches trust me so I feel like just confidence has just been a big part of my uh, uh, the way I've been playing Seems like you're communicating more with coach during the game too. Does that change a little? Um, I feel like I feel like I do that every game. Sebastian, you came out. I think you had seven early points. You ripped away that uh, jump ball, uh, and then you got the foul trouble. But what was it like coming out and providing that energy early? And how important was that to kind of set the tone for what happened? I feel like I feel like that's what uh, we needed. You know, just coming out there, just. Coming out with a dog mentality, you know, that, that that right there, just take it just like steps, you know, just keep on going and trickling down to the end of the game. And I feel like just off that, like, and us playing together as a unit, that's what really got us the dub right there. I saw you checking out your toe uh, over there. How's that, how's that going, your recovery? I mean, everybody's beat up, you know. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm just one of them, one of many. So, I mean, I'm going to be all right. Just keep working on it and just getting better. Uh, Dylan, you had a couple lobs there to a die. What's that like throwing, you know, a pass to a guy who's seven foot three and can kind of, you know, do things that maybe you know just other players can't do? I mean, a die is, you know, he's a special player, especially man, just being 18 years old, man. His IQ is beyond his years. Uh, just being a seven footer, man, you could just come off the screen and just tell him get in front of the basket, and you could throw it anywhere. He's just gonna grab it, put it right back in the basket. So, I mean, just having that, you know. Having that type of presence on the court, you know, helps out a lot because it helps open the floor up and other people are going to be open as well. So you guys are up one late and then you go on that 9 nothing run to essentially close out this game. Uh, you talked about it a little bit, but I was wondering if all three of you could add to it. How much did the defense fuel that run? Obviously, you have to score points to have a run like that, but 
I mean, it seemed equally impressive, you know, finishing their possessions without them even getting shots up. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, Dylan said it, it's, our focus was on stops, and that's what we're seeing in the huddles, we got to get stops. And, um, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to play offense when you got to stop, so you don't have that pressure, you got to score. So um, gets a little the, the pressure off your back, and uh, you get to play a little more freely, and uh, then the shots go in. And with a team like that, you don't want to go back and forth with it. You know, you want to try to limit them as many possessions of, of scoring as much as you can. Winning, <laughs> winning, and being together as a unit for me. That's I know that's what I'm. I'm loving it right now. So. Yeah. Th thanks for the fans for showing up. Uh, we they they helped us a lot today. For real. Thanks, Thank you, guys.